Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we started some quest lines here in Terry Town. And right now we're trying to help this kid to sneak down on the rail. But this dude is charging money, and I guess the kid doesn't have money. So we will help her with that soon. But first of all, because it's night time, we should go there before he gets despawned. Because I think he's only spawning out at night. Here we have some skateboards just chilling. And that's actually good, because we wanna put that on this thing, I think. Now we have some fans over here, then we can build our flying car. Okay. Do I have any steering wheel left? I do. I have a lot. A lot. Boom. Maybe this was a bit too much in the water. No, it's okay. What are these places? <laughs> This field looks a bit sus, to be honest, and it looks like a Kuroko seed on top of that thing. I will have to try to remember that. Let's stand. Perfect. So where are you, dude? Here? Herm, greetings and good meetings. I trade treasures for bubble gems. Wow, you're a nice traveler from before. Uh, you gave me your bubble gem, so kind, many thanks. You know, it was a very special moment for me, yes, very special. Yet, I need more bubble gems. I must have more. Wow, I'm sorry. Ever since we parted, I've been traveling far and wide, and yet I still haven't gathered a single bubble gem. When will I become a Satori? What am I to do? I can't be a... It can't be a co coincidence we meet again, Traveler. Fate. Yes, fate brought us back together. I'm sure of it. Please, if you get your fingers on any more bubble gems, would you give them to me? Dude, I have a lot. I promise I'll give you suitable treasures in exchange for them. For example, look up there. That mystic clothing there is all yours, if you bring me lots and lots of bubble gems. I want it. Yes then, yes. If you get your fingers on your any bubble gems, please bring them to me. I'll be traveling far and wide in search of those gems myself. So if you do... So if you spot my stall at night, don't be shy, do come by. Yes. Oh yes, I forgot to mention something important. When it comes to bubble gems, I believe gobbling down many at once is the key to turning into a Satori. So in the future, please bring me the quantity I ask for altogether. <laughs> the reward I give you will be based on how many gems you give me, a good deal for us both. If you have bubble gems, I'll trade them for treasures. Uh, let's trade. Hmm, let's see. If you give me two bubble gems, I will give you an item of value. Uh, sounds fair. I'll dally no more, here I go. I don't think two will be enough, to be honest. Ah, what is this strange feeling, running upwards and downwards my body? Yeah, it's it's still not enough. Not enough bubble gems. Earth, I'm sorry. Now that I am myself once more, please, here's the treasure I'd promise you. Moblin mask. Uh, moblin nose and hanging tongue, equip it to blend in with moblins. And I let you in on a little secret. Ever since I ate that first bubble gem, I've been able to sense the presence of bubble frogs, er, though not all of them. For you, I can put my bubble frog feelers to work and seek out places you're likely to be found. Uh, yes, sense any bubble frogs. I will focus my senses and try searching for bubble frogs. Hmm, 
Yes, yes. Southwest of here. I sense a bubble frog ambling near Akala Citadel ruins. That's all I can say about it. Uh, of course, if you happen to have any remaining bubble gems, I'll happily trade them for a treasure. Let's trade. Hmm, the Hinox toenail might be of interest. I'll give you three of them for two. Sounds fair. I'm so happy. So now we will eat, but it will not be enough. Ah, I feel something bubbling up from deep inside me. I think... More! Give me more bubble gems. I'm sorry. Not am myself again, please. Here's a treasure, I promise you. Ooh. Let's trade. I want that gear. Only for three, huh? Sounds fair. And I will skip all this talking from him now. Because he only says the same thing. He needs more. Rupee padding. It protects the wearer allowing them to lose rupees instead of health on it. Damn, that's big. Yeah, I will trade up until I don't can trade with you anymore. Until you get too expensive. Nice. For three still. So if the price isn't changing, we can do two more trades. It's four bubble gems now, so then we can only do one more for now. But we got a lot of good loot from that little trading session. That horn looks crazy. I don't have, don't have any more money for you, dude, or bubble gems, frogs. So what did we get? We get got this. But that doesn't... Yeah, that gives us a bit of a funny... Holding. But not as funny as the other. How will this change the stance? Bit difference as well. Let's see this loot. It's nice. Let's keep this for now. That's my main gear. Should have taken my car with me, but too late now. Do you, this. Does he carry the thing we need for the platform here? I think so. <laughs> I think they are one shot at least. Let me fix this for you. There we go. Mister, you got the tower's terminal back. Let's install it in the Skyview Tower. No time to waste. I'll tighten this and done. There. That's not going anywhere, even if a monster is really terminal. I couldn't have done it without you. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you, Swanson. Always fixing these things. After we unlock this map part, we is it one or two left we have done? 
think it might only be the part with the lost forest still. Nice. Let's open the map again here. As soon as this cutscene is over. There we go. Is we watch now? Oh, we have two places still. We have the left of the forest and the forest left. Terry Town is where we are at the moment, doing things. I saw some shrines that I want to mark. So one over here. And I saw one there, was it? But for now, let's go back to Tally Town. After <laughs> I have marked everything here that I want to mark. Oh, that one is already marked. Huh? That one isn't marked. Ah, oh, it was. <laughs> I'm falling close, thank you. Oh, these I have never catched. Star fragment, a mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. Its gem-like quality makes it highly valuable. One theory is that it has the power to light up its environment. Those feels too rare to just use as a candle in the depths. Is that one also marked? Yeah, yeah, it was this. And I think we we bought the green stone yesterday on in yesterday's ep in the last episode. This stone over there from the greedy guy. And if I remember correctly, I saw one of shrine place over to the right here that was missing the entrance. I think it's there we're going with the stone later also. But for now we're gonna help the child here, the Mattison, or what, what his name was, or her name, rather. It was Mattison. Um, okay, so somehow we need to... Obscure the, the the view for this dude, so we can sneak by. First of all, just see if he restocked some arrows. He has not. Like here, we got good materials. Make some kind of wall. Oh my god. There's this... There? And then one more just to secure it more. Because otherwise that can happen. the best. That's better. Take that with us. I really thought that would have been enough, huh? We cover him like that? He will probably see us still. 
I got to ride a rail car if I'm gonna get to Papa's job site and help him out. But I forgot that guy won't let me ride unless I pay him money. Guess I'm not gonna have gonna have to find a way to sneak onto the rail car without him noticing. But how am I gonna do that? Wish I could uh, get some someone to maybe cover his eyes for me. You can go now. How, huh, mister, did you do that? I'm kind of nervous about it, but I trust you. I just run straight here. Will that actually work? <laughs> That's weird. You should have seen us in the beginning here. I did it! My mission was a success. Yay, I can finally get to Papa. Okay, I'm off. He's gonna be so happy to see me. Thanks for helping me with my mission. Of course, dude. Maybe I should figure out if it's there it's going before I take it away. Did I have like a memory that I saw something? But maybe it was a bit earlier in the playthrough actually. And with this rain it's also hard to see. So what's the next step on the quest here? Uh, okay, we're going over. And actually we could pay this dude so we could just take the car. So 50 rupees for a weird rock I picked up, huh? Well, that's not so bad. Ah, you again. I charge a fee to use the rail car, but don't, you only need to pay it once. Fine, here is your 20 rupees. The controls are simple, just give it a whack to either start or stop it. You're free to use it as you please now. The rail car? It's President Hudson's pride and joy. An amazing contraption connected Terry Town to the construction site. There's been a lot of strange happenings lately. Things falling down from the sky right onto the construction site. Hudson has turned into quite an inventor. Uh, best I can tell you, tell he takes what falls out of the sky and experiments until he makes something new. <gasps> the rail car is a perfect example. Uh, it's so simple to control that anyone can do it. Just give it a whack. Huh? Where's the rail car? Just a moment. That's what I wanted. You to reset the car. Thank you. We got a lot of cash from us, but it, it will be worth in the end here when we get a shrine from it. And also unlimited access to this car. That is not the quickest car, but it will manage. This will go pretty quickly, I guess. The downslope here. We made it. I will just drop it there for now. Try nearby. I promise that I like remember something over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, let's make it easy for us and just fly over there. And to do that, we need fans and a steering wheel. Steering wheel we got, but fans I'm actually in low supply on at the moment. But we had one here and one fan over here, yeah. Tried to catch it in the air there. Didn't manage. Uh, a lot of steering wheels.
Lie the stone. And that's not the perfect place to start, because I'm gonna bump into the tree. Oh my god. Okay, we have to redistribute the weight a bit here. Try to put it as straight on as possible. That should do it. Hopefully we're not too <laughs> front heavy, I would say, but just fell over by that. It's a bit left heavy, huh? Or right heavy, depending on how you put it down. Let me just control it quickly then. Oh my god. This should be able to do it. Oh, and then... It's dragging to the left. It's dragged to the left. Let's put it a bit more right then. So heavy. <laughs> Like, if we, if we would have just walked with it, we would have been there already. Let's try it back heavy instead. It had a quest on it, huh? Yeah, I, I already understand where, where I'm going. And that makes it... Maybe we should just make a boat instead. But that we don't have parts for. I will not give up on my flying thing then. Maybe if we do this and then attach it really far back. Like there. Then it will just fall down straight ahead, though. That's not the best. How come that? It, how come that is so so damn heavy? We put it. Can we put it on the rod? No. A bit closer to the center. Maybe that's better. Stop being so heavy. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, we managed. <laughs> In the end, we managed. I think a boat would have been most optimal here, because now I'm gonna crash land. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a stream in the water as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it would have been impossible to swim this. Right time. Understandable though, that like the puzzle to get to the shrine was the shrine. Nice, thank you for the diamond.
Nice, nice, nice. And the car is gone, of course. Oh my god, never in a million years that I will swim this. I have to swim it, because there's no shrine that I have unlocked nearby. I think it will be quicker to just go here and then fly down. Okay, first, is this something <laughs> I also have already mapped out? Yep, yeah, because from here we can just glide now. Which is at least a more nice thing to do than swim. And we can take the um, Koroko here on the way back also. That I have already forgotten about. Mattison again. Here we have them. What's up, dudes? And do that. Oh. Hey, you didn't mention you were coming here too, mister. It's strange. Papa keeps mumbling to himself. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh. oh, it's you. So you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking, trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Matison. Oh. And well, what I came up with is this. Yerudo town is pretty far from here, and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Matson her own special air balloon. Oh. But I want to make it really special, something just for her. I'm just... Not sure how to do that. Yeah. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. Mm. I'm not sure if it looks like the sun, but okay. The sun. Ooh. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen sun lions around here. I could use them to make make a dye. But I get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. Uh, but for me to dye something this size, uh, I need 10 of them. You need sun lions, Papa. Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'll make finding them my new mission. I appreciate the thought, uh, but it's much too difficult. Sun lions are quite rare. I'm not even sure where you find them. Don't worry, I've seen a sun lion before. It's attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. The sky, huh? Don't I even have that already? Yes, I picked up quite a lot of them and I'm not using them as often in food that I should. Yeah, I have 30. If I only had 10. Yeah, yeah. Here are your 10. Huh? That's awesome. You did it. You really and truly collected 10 of them? What's this? You found them all for us? Looks like I have no problem dyeing the balloon to, to the color of the sun. Ah, oh, I wasn't any help at all. I failed my mission. Don't say that. That's not true, Madison. Uh, your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? Uh, I know why... Why don't you help me with that? I will. I will, papa. I'll help you make the sun. Good luck. Can't get over their hair, though. Quick and quality, blink, and we're done. That's why every... Sun chooses Hudson construction. <laughs> A nice little rhyme. Oh. Now that's a more nice looking balloon. At last, it's done, and morning is already here. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a bit longer. Oh. Hudson! Mm. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Oh. I see. Alright. Let's all go together. Then, in Mattison's special sun balloon. 
Would you join us as well? Doesn't look like I have a choice. Wow, I feel like I've turned into a bird. <laughs> oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You don't want to fall from this height. Ooh. Hey, everyone. Take a look at that. Wow, the sun. <laughs> the sun is waking up. Oh. It's blessing uh, the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terry Town, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Oh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. Papa, your present made me very happy. Oh. Mattison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any... Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong, just like you. My little Mattison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. Oh. You can trust me. I'll take care of your Papa and Mama. Don't worry, you can go. Oh. Go become a wonderful Vi, and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. Oh! I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometimes. Uh, when I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, Everson. I mean, Sarksu. Oh! I'm going to become a great Vi, like Mama. And I'll meet a wonderful Vo, like Papa. Hi! Savork, Everson. Bye-bye. The dad took oh. it the hardest, I feel like. Bronson, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. You didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us too. Mm? Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. Um, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh! Ah, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those sandy lions were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. Some money. I want to start the quest line of building a house, if I can. And this is from me. Nice, a lot of money though. You already helped me so much, but if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Mattison. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in the Gerudo town? Mm -hmm. Ah, right. I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> now, I gotta get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? Oh, he sure does. Both me and Colton, or Colton, or what the name was. Over here. A Bokolobin looks like... What I'm trying to say is, a Bokolobin most distinguished feature is its nose. Which you'll find squished upon its face like gloof. Its ears, on the other hand, are quite swoppy and the horn goes swift. Mm, that description of yours can say I get a picture. What's going on? I guess we have to take pictures on enemies for them here. Ah, hello. I appreciate you helping me with Mattison. That was a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. I'm ad I admit, hearing about the sand shroud that Gerudo Town is dealing with, well, it had me pretty worried. But she's safe with her Gerudo escort. I'm sure they'll take good care of her as well. Rodson is back on working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Ah, sorry. If you don't watch out, I'll start talking over your ear again. Uh, you've been a good listener, thanks for that. This is Kilton. He moved into Terrytown the other day. He asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him. Sorry, sorry. I'm an awful describer of things. I would draw you a detailed picture of a Bokolobin if I could, but there is no art to be found in the bones of my body. But fret not, I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and much zest. Surely that will help. Uh, 
well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to refer to. How about this picture? Which one should we choose? Let's choose that. Yeah, that's exactly, that's the vocal lobin I'm looking for. Ah, now this is a good picture. Let me use it for reference and I can make the sculpture, no problem. Maybe we borrow it, of course. Great, just leave it to me. I'll get it get it made, sun and done. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why Everson chooses Hudson Construction. That splash was a bit sus. Sun and done, as promised. Ha -yow. Look at this. This is very. This is the very monster sculpture I've been lo longing for. It was easy. Now, pretty please, would you pick uh, the perfect spot to display this sculpture on the stage over there? I'm afraid I can't do that. What? I got a rule against making that kind of decisions. Too much resp responsibility, not my thing. Ah, oh, but but who will arrange on the stage for me? I guess that's me. <laughs> this one looks like he's mining, so why not like put him against the wall like this? Yeah, that's great. I got a rule against making that kind of decision. Not too much responsibility, not my thing. Oh, but but who will arrange it on the stage for me? I found a nice spot for it. Huh? What did you just say? Ooh, such artistry. It's everything I ever hoped it would be. And so realistic too. It is as if my nose holes might catch a whiff of a monster scent at any moment. It's true. Even I could uh, mistake that sculpture for a living, breathing monster. <laughs> yes, now we must show it to every eyeball in the village. I guess we have to do that. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, come look see. Is every person in this town only from that family, from the um, Hudson family. I present you a famed Bokolobin. Do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. <laughs> ah, when you look it, at it like this, it's rather cute. Um, this sight has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them. Without further ado, this adorable, cuddable monster is called a Bokolobin. They make house and home throughout Hyrule and are, perhaps, the monster you rub shoulder, shoulder bones with most. With their large, foopy ears and cute, gloofy snout, snouties, one can't help but want to give them a tight squeeze. Sadly, their social skills are quite stunted, and it's best to look elsewhere for a friendly embrace. Godness, yes, I do feel like giving it a hug all of a sudden. Look and learn, then you won't hate. Uh, understand what you fear and you'll feel great. <laughs> For those with an open mind, wonders always await. That's a great life lesson. Thank you, Kilton. <laughs> thank you and thank you once more. You've not only helped my younger brother, but me too. Please take this as a token of my thankfulness. It's a concussion of my own making, you might say. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're a great artist, worthy of renown, and because of you, I've taken the first step towards making my dream come true. I have long desired to collect sculptures of monsters from around the world, and display them for all the eyeballs to see. I hope this will shine a light on the, these magnificent creatures, and the many wonderful ways about them. Everyone in the village seems to like it, so I could, could probably make more. <laughs> Haru, really? In that case, I implore you to make an Horriblin next. Horriblins have big hands like whoosh and coat that is quite... Oh, wow. They also enjoy swinging from the ceiling. Ah, oh, it's the trolls, huh? Hmm, your description, no. I still don't know what it looks like. Sorry, sorry, so sorry. I am an awful describer on things. 
I would draw you a detailed picture of a horriblin if I could, but there is no art to be found. Okay, so this we have already heard before. I guess we don't have a picture on those. See monsters. So it's the trolls up in the air. We don't have a picture on those. That's good to know. So that quest will stop for now. And I guess it's the lady you should talk with if you want to build a house, maybe. Time for a dream home? Oh, yes it is. Welcome to Hudson Construction. With Matson off on her own little adventure, it looks like I can rush him working on dream homes. I'm a little uneasy though. There's some kind of massive sand shroud in Gerudo Desert right now, after all. But there's nothing I can do about that. I'll just keep her home safe until she returns. Uh, and in the meantime, I need to buckle down and get some work <laughs> done. Hudson Construction, while whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic, like a kitchen or a fully furnished room or something more. We're here for you. Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures or a place to care for your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and what's all of our customers truly enjoy, which is the opportunity to assemble all these individual rooms on their own. Nice, nice, nice. You pick the rooms you want and then you can put them together the way you always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commemo commemor commemorative gift to celebrate starting down the path to dream home ownership. You know, our whole family is in your debt after for all the help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream house, I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of saying Sarkso. You know, thank you. A dream home, please. If you're interested in a dream home, that's great. And there's a vacant plot in a prime location. I'm sure you like it. Ordinary land alone would cost you 3000 rupees, but special just for you. I can offer land rooms com combination deals for only 1500 rupees. Uh, oh. That's a deal, and I will do it. I just need some more money. Now you have resupplied arrows. I'm here to sell. Okay, something that we have a lot of and is worth a lot of money. I know we have a lot of, we should have a lot of these things. I guess we don't want to sell them all. So if we start with selling three of those. Four of these. Uh. Here we have a lot, so here we can do maybe ten. Mm. That's enough money. Nice. Uh. I was thinking maybe we needed to sell some of the diamonds, but we didn't, which is nice. Yes, we're probably gonna have some quest somewhere that wants diamonds. Yes, I am ready now. Ma. Special price for me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now we're broke again. As I mentioned, we already have a prime plot of land set aside for you. It's a bit southeast of here and it has an excellent view. Well, it's a bit far away. There's a shrine over in that direction, okay? Another member of our staff will meet you on the hill to the left of the shrine. Uh, speak with him there for more details. I will. <laughs> I, hope enjoy, I hope you enjoy building your ideal dream home. Bye-bye. Not sure if this was the smartest way to go. <laughs> Should have just gone over the bridge. 
Hopefully we can ascend somewhere here. I thought. You just have to... Do the old school climb, I guess. At least we got a lot of stam stamina still. So we can just jump up here. Is that the beginning of my house? I don't think so. And this we need to snap a pick on. There is the shrine. Ooh, orange looking birds. I don't think we have a picture on those. Pink even. How we have. Then we keep the old picture. This is maybe not smart. <laughs> Going more down than we were before. Maybe this should do. This should do. I guess this is the dude we're gonna talk to. Around here. Yeah. Oh my god. But first of all, just go and unlock the shrine. And do the shrine also. So I'm craving a puzzle at the moment. So hopefully this isn't a shrine that's already done when you go into it. Oh no. No clothes. I know what that means. Proving ground vehicles, huh? So the enemies are gonna be in the vehicle then, I guess. Got a lot of them also. And here the question is... Should you break the boxes here? Or should you just... M merge them as a weapon here? Maybe on this small one. And then if we're quick we can kill this one... Before... We aggro everything else. Nice. Can I use these cars for anything? I should be able to take the parts and use them on weapons, maybe? I cannot. So we have two over there, one there, one up there, and one here. Maybe this dude here. I thought that would headshot, huh? Okay. Now everybody's alarmed here. That's not good. And he has fire. I will take his fire weapon. I think here we can use distance. Make it pretty easy for us. Oh my god. His friend is here though. Oh my god. This feels pretty uh, un under control at the moment. Is great. Okay. So go and get the car over here. So I think we can use this car to.
to apply one of these spikes things here. Oh. So in the front we want the spikes. Like that maybe. And just to make it extra dangerous. <laughs> Why not apply some some of these? This one the, with the light we want in the middle here. Like that. Oh, this is a dangerous car. <laughs> oh, this is great. Not the best... Uh, ow. Not the best um, turning capabilities. But that doesn't really matter. Ah, but it's hard. <laughs> oh my god, that's a wide... Okay, let me just take a... Take a spin here around. Then we should be able to line them up better, I hope. I'm gonna miss that dude again, but this one we will not miss now. Boom. Oh my god, that's dangerous actually. Yes. Nice. They are hurting each other. Oh my god, that fire is dangerous though. That's good. And also you. Okay. Let's just finish this dude. Ooh, it was close that he hit me there. Your equipment will be returned. Yeah, I hope so. That was a great shrine, actually. It was fun. Let me see what's up here. A flying machine. Damn. It would have been nice to do some uh, laser on it. Go and get the house now. No, thank you. No need. down here right yeah there also this whole spot is ours that's great sun and done indeed it is ah. hey hello you must be link i'm grantison of hudson construction ronson told me about you i'm here to answer all your home building questions in fact why don't i get started with the overview of the process first if i could direct your attention this way this is the plot of land you purchased. You place the rooms we sell here. Well, mm. you're on, our, on your way to building a one-of-a-kind dream home. Ah. Let's see. It looks like your contract includes two rooms. Ah. Excellent. Two rooms to get you started. Good choice. One moment, please. I wonder what I can choose here in the beginning. These are rooms. Uh, the one on the left is a foyer and the one on the right is a bedroom. They are covered with nets to protect the interior, but don't you worry, we'll remove them once construction is complete. Oh. Now all you need to do is place both rooms on the ground. Arrange the rooms so that they fit nicely within the rope boundaries. One more thing, you can only place rooms 
in the roped off area. Please remove any other items before the inspection. Okay. Now, let let me know when you're done so I can perform an inspection. With that, please throughoutly enjoy taking your first step towards building your dream home. I will do that, dudes. So what was this? Is this like an entrance thingy? Looks like an entrance. And this is a bedroom, huh? Do I move it with this? So I guess... Like, what's the natural way of g coming here? It's going up this... Oh, I know, I'm not leaving. Yeah, let me just check the area. So that's the natural way of, like, visiting here. I'm not gonna go any closer than this. And that you will... And that you will come from here, and that's the road, and the road keeps going here also. So it's natural to have the entrance here, I would say. Don't have to follow me, dude. I think I can manage this by myself. <sighs> so let's do it as... Close to here as possible, and I guess the room is going left, so it could be nice having it on the right side. Is that nice? I would say that is nice. But maybe we want some room to place things outside. So let's just back it up a bit here. I would say that's nice. I guess you can restructure the house later also. It doesn't... It's not so important now to get everything perfect. And I guess... Is it only this way you can attach or can you attach how you want? What happens if I like... I want this as a second story. <laughs> I don't want it like that. But we should try to see if the walls differs if we build it like this. So otherwise I feel like the whole modular thing is not really modular if you have to think on how you put the walls. Let's try ah. this. Working hard I see. What can I do to you? Uh, I'm done building. Mm. I'll start the inspection right away. Let's see if this will get through. I didn't find any problems during the inspection. You're free to go inside. <laughs> You're telling me that that was your first time. Nice work. Your dream home is complete at last. Congratulations. I'll call Rodson over. Please wait here for just a moment. I really hope you can change the walls because I don't want it looking like that. Sorry for the wait. How are things going? Are you happy with your investment? Of course. This is only the first step. The real building process begins now. <laughs> I hope you continue to explore building your dream home. After all, Hudson Construction sells a variety of uh, room options. Speak with uh, Grantison if you want to know more about them. Uh, there isn't much, but here's a little gift to celebrate starting your dream home. Hudson Construction Fabric. Thank you, thank you. I'll be by your side for as long as it takes to build your home of your dreams. Why don't you take a look at the inside of the rooms you placed? I will do that. Yeah, so, so the wall didn't appear on this side. And also, that doesn't have any use. Wow, such a nice home. <laughs> Doesn't look weird at all. Okay, so can I change? Can I move this now? No. So I have to talk to him to move the things. Once again, contraction. I hope my introduction to the whole process was clear, though. After all, you can have so much more built. Maybe you like your house to have a more of the 
of the comforts of home, or maybe some convenient features. Mm. If you want to give any of that a try, don't tarry, just talk to Grandson, that's me. At Hudson Construction, we offer a ver ver variety of cust customization options. Just buy a new room and remodel anyway. Uh, new rooms are an investment, which is why you can preview your options, so you make the choice that's right for you. Now then, do you have a construction request? Well, you're in the right place. I wanna start building. Okay, I'll get things ready, just a moment, please. Oh. Thanks for waiting. We're all set to begin constructions. Nice. Mm. If you need anything, just let me know. Okay, so if we talk to him... Ah. Uh, I need more rooms. Oh. Wanna change your rooms? Say no more. What can I do to for you? Uh, I wanna buy or ah. preview. Angled room. Furnished angled room. Square room, furnished square room, weapon stand room, post stand room, nice, nice. Gallery for pictures, bedroom. Oh, so you can choose where the walls and everything are. Okay. Kitchen, kitchen would be nice having early, and blessing room as well. I guess all of this would have been nice having early. A simple... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that we have. Indoor stairs. Okay, yeah, this is actually really hype. And also garden and flowers. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. You got it. What did... What are the... I want to know how to change walls and everything. The only thing you can place on the plot of lands are property room units. Yeah. It's a matter of safety, understand. We can't ensure structural integrity integrity with anything else integrity also you want to avoid having anything stick out over the rope as that tends to cause problems any placement tips the trick of to placing rooms is trying lots of different things now oh, my controller doesn't work let me just <laughs> try to reconnect it there we go just as the name implies, room units are built with common standard, which means you can place them vertically, horizontally, diagonally, however, Ali. But you may want to think twice about placing your room units at steep ang angles. If you do, you may be unable to place accessories or use room features, so bear that in mind. Anything else? Ah. No. Ah. Okay, so let's see. If we can figure out how to change roof and everything. Oh, oh my god. Uh, never mind. I need more rooms. I don't have any store rooms. How do I store the rooms then if I don't need them? <laughs> ah. This isn't the most clear build, like how to build the tutorial. But I guess this is just what we can do in the beginning here. Let's just place it there for now. And then we're done. I'm done. Let's just inspect it for now. Yay! Now we have a little house here that we cannot do almost anything in. But we can sleep at least, and it's our own. And we're gonna make the house bigger in later episodes, of course. But this was everything we had time for today. If you have enjoyed watching this episode, please consider liking the video. It helps me a lot. Also subscribe so you don't miss some future episodes. This has been 23. Thank you for watching. 
I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.